Today, I am really excited to review the book that got me seriously into weightlifting, and that is Bigger, Leaner, Stronger by Michael Matthews, and that is the book right behind me. If you guys are new here, my name is John Atala, and right now I am comparing five different weightlifting programs or books so you can find a program that works for you. Make sure to watch the video where I compare all five after this one, but in this video I will be going in depth with Bigger, Leaner, Stronger by Michael Matthews so you can understand what you get in this book. In this video, I do have the second edition of the book behind me, but I do have the third edition on PDF, and it is even meatier in this third edition, which is so much information. So what is in this monster of a book? Really, it is everything you need to get started weightlifting and changing your body. The third edition has 37 different chapters, so I'm not gonna go over every single chapter, but I will give you the general overview of the information in the book. This book really is the whole guide on working out. In it, you get legit diet advice, supplementation advice, how to train correctly, how to track progress, sample workout plans, sample diet plans. Like everything is in this book if you are just a beginner and need somewhere to start. In the book, Michael does a great job about introducing the basic knowledge about getting fit and dispelling a lot of fitness myths around fat loss and muscle growth. Many common myths like is lifting heavy bad for you, I can't put on muscle because I have bad genetics, I am thick boned so I can't lose weight, just silly things like that. Michael also outlines the essentials for any proper weightlifting program and I will just spoil them right here. You eat, you train, and you sleep. Oh, shocker, holy crap, never ever mentioned before on this channel at all. In the book, Michael also has a section about getting your inner game in order to get fit Consistency is one of the most important factors in changing your life, really, and putting on muscle. So having a dedicated section to this is really awesome of Michael. He really does have some valuable advice in these sections as well to keep you going back to the gym and to make sure it's a part of your life and not just a short-term habit. This book is the book that got me to start counting calories and learning about macros. Part 4 is the diet section in the book, which is the calculating macros, pre-workout, post-workout nutrition, how to cheat on meals. It's really a lot of valuable information if you're confused on a lot of this stuff. At the end of the day though, it really boils down to a whole high protein, whole foods diet. So you eat real food with high protein. Michael is a big proponent of meal planning, which is some advice I can never really follow strictly. I do think meal planning will work for many people. It's just not something I implement into my life strictly because I just don't find it flexible enough for everyday scenarios. I'm not going to lie though, it does make it a lot easier to put on weight or lose weight since you know your calories every single day. There's no guessing what your calories are. If that is something you're interested in, meal planning, I would definitely give that section a read. He does also have a section on pre-workout and post-workout nutrition as well. Later in the book, in part 5, Michael has exercise advice and he lays the groundwork for the program that you will do. I won't give away all the details since you really should read the book but I do want to give some critiques here. Although I understand the book is geared at beginners, but on almost all exercises, minus some like ladder races, flies and abs and other smaller isolations, you are doing only four to six reps. While I don't necessarily think that's bad, I don't think that's great either for a beginner. You do do a double progression system, which basically means when you can't increase weight, you increase reps in that four to six rep range. Then when you hit the top of the rep range, you go back down to four. I mean, I did this program for a long time because I followed it, but I did find you hit a plateau wall pretty quickly since you're only training one rep range. Again, this will work for beginners because almost anything does, but it's just not how I would program something like this to add to longevity. I also have a fault with the split because it is a bro split. In the book, the standard five day routine is set as push day one, pull and calves day two, upper body and core day three, legs day four, upper body and core day five. So that basically translates into the program chest and tries day one, deadlift and back plus calves day two, shoulders and abs day three, legs day four, then arms day five. It's a bro split with an emphasis on the upper body, specifically the arms. In the book, Michael has a section titled train most major muscle groups once every three to five days, then continues with a bro split that hits back and legs once a week. To give Michael credit, he does state in the book, as you'll see in bigger, leaner, stronger, you're going to train upper body more frequently than your lower body because if you're like, well, every guy I've ever known, it's going to take a lot more to get the chest and shoulders and arms than the legs and glutes you desire. Now, I don't necessarily disagree with this, but you're only hitting your chest and shoulders once a week, so it still doesn't really follow. In the book, he does say the intensity of the program, the four to six rep range, makes up for the lack of frequency, which might be true, 
but I don't think many people are really getting the physique they want with the four to six rep range. Again, this is for beginners just to get you in the gym, but I would still change it up. There's also a four day split, which is organized as a push day, pull day, upper day, then legs day. Then there's a three day split, which is a push, pull and legs split. Only three days a week though. Instead of including an upper lower split or a full body split, the program's just kind of like blah, just something like that. I don't think they're too great, honestly. So with that out of the way, the workout plan does do what it intends to do since it is for beginners. Although I like to train my legs and my back just as intensely as my chest and shoulders. But if you are just going for a bigger chest and shoulders and arms while making slower gains on your legs and back, you just do you bro, it's fine. Besides this, he gives some solid form advice on the big three and he does give exercises for each body part. And I really want to compliment Michael on this section because he doesn't give way too many exercises where it can overwhelm a beginner. He gives enough, but not too little. So you can still experiment with a couple of different exercises. And then you can find which one you like. So if you just need to get started, the exercise list is pretty solid. You also get knowledge on supplements and Michael does a really, really good job of breaking down which ones might have some benefit for, for you and which ones not and which ones he discourages. He does discourage a lot of the many common supplements we see, so kudos to Michael for that. Now, do I recommend this book for you? If you are brand new to weightlifting, dieting, fitness, absolutely. Despite my criticisms about the actual workout plan, the fundamental knowledge in this book is really solid on many topics and it's easily digestible, easy to understand, and it's really the full package for beginners. So you're not watching a million YouTube videos that say different things, and it's just to get you in the gym and to make progress. Now, if you have some time under your belt and have put on a decent amount of muscle, this is most likely a skip for you. You still might learn some things about like supplementation and macro counting and other topics. So if you are interested, pick up the book. I do think it's really solid. Plus the book is cheap at the end of the day. It might not provide that much extra knowledge to you if you're more advanced, but why not? What would really be a deadly combo though is taking most of the advice and the mindsets from this book, then applying it to other programs, which will give you guaranteed results. Not sure what other programs to check out? Make sure to watch my video where I compare this and four other programs among each other. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well. Have you ever read Bigger, Lean, and Strong by Michael Matthews? Comment down below. Peace.